Hey, I am live. Well, welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I have got an unboxing for you today. And I am trying to see when and if I get someone on here. I think I've got everything set up just right. So we'll see. Hey, I've got one person watching, so that means I've done something right. So welcome, whoever you are. I might have forgotten to get chat set up. So let's make sure I've got the chat viewing options available. So there's three people on, and I've got uh, some live chat available. So Zeke Cowthers is saying hi. So hey, Zeke, how are you? It's good to see you. This is my first live um stream and I am doing an unboxing and I really wanted to see if I could make this go right. So if you can hear me okay, if you could just send me a little note and just say hey. So Betty Boo, hey, how are you? Welcome to my first live stream and it's great to see someone out there that I know. Can you hear me okay? If you could tell me that. I tried live streaming once before and I was on for an hour and people could not hear a thing. So please let me know if you can hear me. So I'm going to be looking to see your comments. So Born to Book is on there also. Hey, Born to Book. If you can hear me, please send me a little note. Okay, so Biddy Boo says, yes, I can hear you just fine. So great. I have to tell you, I did an unboxing live once before. I literally was on there for an hour and the people could not hear a thing. So, Sandra Lewis is on, hey. And uh, so, okay. So, I am live streaming from my iPad. I wanted to try that because you're supposed to be able to live stream from your mobile devices. And I've been afraid to try it. Technology is not always my friend. And every now and then, I've given it a try and things have not worked out well. So, since I did the last live stream and was on for an hour with no sound... I've been afraid to try it since. So I've got an unboxing for you today. And I thought I would try two simple Walmart beauty boxes first, just to give people a little time to jump on and also not to waste your time. But let me tell you a little bit about me just real quick. I haven't put anything up in the last few days. I think the last one up was either the flu shot video, I believe. And hopefully you all have gotten your flu shot. But my mom is in the hospital. She's been in the hospital since Tuesday. She'd been sick a few days before that with a flu-like illness. Got her into the ER. She didn't have the flu, but she had flu symptoms. And so they admitted her, and she didn't have pneumonia, but they were treating her as if she had pneumonia. And me and my sister have been taking turns spending the night up at the hospital, and I've been exhausted. She's been exhausted, so... Needless to say, I haven't had time to do any videos. So I thought, let's try a live stream to see if I can get some things done that I need to get done. And one of the things that I wanted to do was to get this unboxing done. So the first unboxing I'm going to do is this Walmart beauty box. And these little boxes, they send them out quarterly. And they're more, I think, product promotional boxes. And you do have to... Um, sign up for like your age and your interest and different things like that and then they send the box out to you let's see Biddy Boo is on she said she had heart surgery on Friday you had heart surgery this past Friday or it's coming up this Friday tell me which is which I'm like what because I didn't realize you had that going on but so let's see which was in this one and I think this must have been I don't know, either the summer or the fall box, because I've had it upstairs for a while. I just didn't open it. And this particular one, it says, Embrace Your Beauty. Oh, Biddy Boo had heart surgery last Friday. Oh, my goodness. Well, I hope you're doing okay. And then we've got, uh, looks like Dylan's Blur out there, the saying hey to Biddy Boo as well. So let's see what's in this Walmart box. Well, there's Pantene Foam, and it is a uh, sheer volume conditioner, so it's to help condition the hair. And usually when there's a, a conditioner in here, there's usually also a shampoo. 
So I'm great you're doing good. It's great that you're doing good, Diddy. That's good. So there's a Garnier Skin Active Rose Water that's in here also. So this looks kind of interesting. And then there is Aches and Pains Muscle Relief Body Wash and Body Oil. Now this is also very interesting also. A foaming bath oil and body wash supposed to help relieve muscle aches and pains. Have any of you guys ever tried this? If so, let me know. Now, the question asked by Dylan is, how much is the box? Well, it's really interesting. It's only $5. They send them out quarterly. And the cost is actually for the shipping. So the things in the box are free. You just pay for shipping. And usually what I do when I get these, I usually just kind of set them aside and save them. My granddaughter likes to open the boxes when they come, but she hasn't been here for a while. Now, this looks pretty good. It is a sample of a hair mask. It is the Garnier Fructis Damaging Repairing Treat Hair Mask. And it's a paprika extract. It looks like pumpkin on the front, though, but it's a paprika extract. And I bet it smells really good. So this might be something you might be interested in trying for your hair. And then there are some Kleenex wet wipes. Now these are new as well. And you can always use wet wipes. I think I'm going to put these in my bag that I carry with me on a daily basis. And then there's a couple of coupons. So that's what's in this box. And actually, I don't really like it when I get hair stuff in the boxes because I don't use them very much. So Dylan is saying, just, well, I missed her message. She's gone. So sorry about that. Now this other Walmart box says Nivea. So there's probably a lot of Nivea products in it. And these are two unboxings, so I don't know what's in here just yet. And it's Garnier Whole Blends Conditioner and Shampoo. Another sample of that. But it's a different shampoo. Ooh, a charcoal sheet bubble mask. Now, this looks really good, and I love masks. And my little granddaughter, the one that's just turned 15, loves masks. So she loves to play in my beauty boxes. And whenever there's a mask in there, a sheet mask, she likes to get it. So she will like this. I'll probably take some of this stuff down to her when I go see them for Thanksgiving. And then there's this charcoal cellular water. So Dylan says she has so many face masks. I love them. They're just, and they're just so quick and easy to use. So this is a charcoal micellular water, which is really good to kind of help cleanse. And then there is a fluoride-free whitening toothpaste activated charcoal. So this box is black and white and red all over. And a lot of the things in it are black and white. So there's this. More Kleenex wet wipes. Only this is just a little tiny sample where the other one were bigger pieces. This box has a lot in it. A Cetaphil cleansing bar. Oh, Tashi is on. Hey, Tashi, how you doing? And then Great Life. And I need some new mascara. Maybe I should put on my computer glasses and I can see a little better. I can see who's on there. So anyway, those are the things in my Walmart beauty boxes. So there are those. So now let's get out the things that I really invited you on for. And, uh, oh, okay. So now I got you on because I wanted to show you my latest haul from the Grove Collaborative. And I've really been trying not to do hauls and I haven't been buying a whole lot lately from Grove Collaborative because my husband's been making budget noises. Like, have you checked the budget? Do we really need some of that stuff? So I've tried not to order unless we absolutely needed things. So, this was the box that I got the last time, and I didn't open it yet, because I was just busy, and I was trying to save it for an unboxing, so here we go. And when you get things from the Grow Collaborative, they have them packed so, so well, so that nothing just shakes around too much or gets messed up, so let's see. So this is the new pumpkin scent, the Mrs. Myers dish soap in the pumpkin scent. And look how they put the tape across the top just to make sure that it doesn't leak in um, 
transport. And I'm going to try to get the top off. There we go. So I can smell it. Oh, and it does have a really good pumpkin spice scent. And right now, I'm loving everything pumpkin spice. So here's a pumpkin spice dish soap. And then the pumpkin spice hand soap. I like to have the dish soap and the hand soap to match. So these I usually sit in the kitchen on the counter. So I do like to have those things match. I was also out of apple cider vinegar, and I used that for cooking. So I ordered some of this um, organic apple cider vinegar, and it is from the Bragg family. It's, they've been doing organic stuff since 1912. So I thought I'd give it a try. It is raw and unfiltered, so we'll see how well that works out. So I did need that. And I ordered another dish towel. This is the Marigold Yellow Dishcloth. Now there's a story behind these dishcloths. I've been trying to order these dishcloths whenever they bring out a new one because I love these dishcloths. And look how big they are. They're like 18 by 26. They're really, really big. They have different ones, different colors for the various seasons. And I've been trying to get them so that I can have nicer dish towels when I have family over for holidays. And these dishcloths are from the Grove Collaborative. Well, I had some family over just recently. And so when everybody was doing the cleanup, I got out my good Grove Collaborative dish towels. My cousins didn't like them. You know, they, I have a bunch of these little white dishcloths like this that I use to dry dishes with. They're kind of a terry and they work really well. They like those, but this is the one that I got out then because I have a, about six of these. Well, they didn't like them. So, I was really kind of surprised that I'm like, wait a minute, you don't like my good dishcloth? So, but these are the new ones. This is one of their new colors for fall. And I am just loving them. And see how they kind of go with. So, so there's those. The other thing that I got in was I needed some more sponges. These little Grove Collaborative Walnut Cellular Scrubble Sponges. I love these. I used to always get the uh, Scotch uh, Yellow Pads. But I've been buying these lately. And I ordered a bar of soap for my husband. He likes bar soap. Are these cotton or terry? These are cotton. They're cotton. They're 100% cotton. So these are in the marigold yellow. And it says 100% 100% 100 organic cotton kitchen towels. And I like the way they have them packaged as well. They have them all wrapped up and they have them in this little twill. And so what I'll do is I'll take the twill tie off and I use it for other things. And it makes me think about like way, way, way back in the old days when people would go from place to place. And if they have to take a covered dish or something like that, well, they would wrap it up with a dish towel and maybe tie a string around it or something like that. So it kind of reminds me of that old stuff. And then the last thing in this box is borax. I needed some borax for my laundry. And it's truly Craig. And it says, hi, Denise. And I'm glad to see all of you guys. I think I've got some new people that are coming on. And uh, so I'm glad to see them. But here's the borax, which I got. I've been using borax in my laundry. If I have something that's really stinky, or something that I really want to whiten, I've been using borax lately. And I ended up with the borax because when my son and his family were here for spring break, they made slime and they used borax. And so I started using that borax for my laundry and I loved it. So that's this box. This box is empty. And so this is my latest box right here. This is the box that just came. Get this set down. Mm -hmm. Try not to knock the iPad over. Is it cheaper through Grove than Walmart? You know, I think the prices for the Grove Collaborative are a little bit 
Oh, Sandra says she's been watching my videos for a few weeks now, so that's great. I think the prices for Mrs. Meyer's products and for the Method products are maybe a little bit cheaper on the Growth Collaborative than at Target. As Walmart, I don't know because I don't buy those things at Walmart. If I'm going to pick them up when I'm shopping, I'll usually get them at Target. I have found a few of them at Kroger, and they are a little bit more expensive at Kroger. Uh, someone on here, Zeke, is saying they're about the same. So I think the advantage to buying them through the Grove Collaborative is that they come and I'm not picking up a bunch of other stuff. Because if I run into Target to pick up some Mrs. Meyers cleanser, I'm ending up buying a whole bunch of other stuff while I'm there. Whereas I'm really trying to take myself to task and then just get what I need on um, online. Okay, so now this is my latest box right here. So let me see what's in it. And I'll tell you what, doing a live stream is a little different because from what I understand, one of the things you're supposed to do is you're supposed to stop and say hello and make comments to the people um, that come on because it's the community that you're trying to build. But it's a little distracting, though, to try to um, stay focused on what I'm supposed to be doing and then try to keep an eye on the comments as well. So I'll try to do that. So now, this is some stuff that I ordered just because I wanted them. And I know how I am. Sometimes things will be coming in and um, I'll be checking out the Grove Collaborative and I'll see some of the new things and then I won't get them. And then later on, I'll be like, gosh, I wish I had ordered that. So they got in some new stuff and I decided I was just gonna go for it. And so I did. So what did they have? Well, they've got this new pomegranate collection and this is what it looks like. And it, it just looks so pretty online. I just thought, I gotta get that. And I went ahead and ordered it early because I wanted to make sure I got it. And then look at this shark. Isn't that pretty? I just thought that just looks so pretty. So, and this is from the uh, Grove Collaborative Signature Collection. So I just went ahead and got that. And then I even like the little jar or the box that it came in to keep it protected. And then I also ordered some of the dish soap. So, but I didn't realize there were two dish soaps. Oh, so this is the dish soap right here. And let's see how it smells. Mmm, it smells really good. Biddy Boo says this is pretty, and yes, it really is. It is so pretty, and it smells really good. And you know what? It should look really nice in my kitchen. And then I also got the gel hand soap. So I got those things. My husband's going to have a fit, too. But I got those things. And then they also have a candle. So I ordered a candle. Let's get it opened up. I tell you what, when they pack these things, they don't intend for anything to go wrong in shipping. I have to take this bubble wrap over to my mom. She likes to pop the bubble wrap. She said it helps her to relax. So this is a pomegranate and red currant soy candle. I've got 14 people watching. So that's kind of nice for my first live stream. And you can hear me. That's even better. So let's get this candle. For, oh, this is what the candle looks like. Oh, and it smells so good. I love this. You guys have got to try this. For best results, burn for longer intervals whenever possible, three hours or more. And please note, this is a 100% natural product, and you may notice irregularities of the wax texture of the burning, but, oh, it just smells wonderful. So I'll be burning this, and I'll let you guys know how well it does. And then there's also a tea towel, which is another word for a dish towel. So let's get that opened up. 
so I have all these pretty little tea towels. Because I have to say, I was kind of ashamed of the dish towels that I had before. So now look at this. Isn't that pretty? So now when my cousins are here, I can put out some pretty towels. Oh, Eileen Mack is on. Hi, Eileen. How are you? This is just beautiful. And it is the... Pomegranate and red currant. So this is part of their seasonal collection too. Limited edition. So I decided I was going to go ahead and order that while it was available. I also ordered some 7th generation multi-purpose wipes. And sometimes I just want a little wipe when I need a quick cleanup. And my husband likes to use wipes. So I thought I would try the 7th generation in that. And... Nice clean fragrance and it is the garden mint scent and my husband really likes the, the fragrance of mint. So I got that. Oh, and there's another hand soap bottle. So this is the bottle for the hand soap and then the other was the bottle for the dishwashing liquid. Okay. So this is the hand soap bottle. Let's see who is this. Tashi. She wants to know one day I can share how satisfied I was with the products. And I can certainly do that. I know for the most part I do like the Mrs. Myers products. And that's why I have tended to reorder those. The one Mrs. Myers product I did not like were the dishwasher products. Oh, and look what else is in here. I forgot I ordered the new basin. Are the bottles very expensive? You know, I don't remember how much they were. I'll say probably. Nancy says the line looks pretty. I really like something. I can't, I can't read them all. They pop up here so quick. And this is the biggest thing why I went ahead and ordered it. Because I know the last time they had a special edition and I didn't order any of it. And I just kept thinking, gosh, I wish I had ordered that. So this time I thought, I'm going to go ahead and order it. Not sure where this is going to go, but I'm going to do one of my Clean With Me videos or one of my organizing videos. And you guys are going to see this. So, and who knows? I could set both these in here like this. I don't know. We'll see. But I am just really pleased with all this stuff. So most of this stuff in here is from the pomegranate collection. Oh, and there's something else. Ha! There's a little stoneware tray that goes with it. It's a sink side style. So with a clean, simple design, this tray is perfect for keeping your sink stylish and organized. So, ha! There's a little tray. You guys know how I like little trays to sit things on. So, are the bottles glass or plastic? These bottles are glass. So for me, they work because the only person that I have around here to use things are, is, is the hubby. Look at this little tray. Isn't this adorable? So you'll see this on the sink in the kitchen. This one is for dishwashing liquid. This one is for the hand soap. Isn't that pretty? I mean, that is just adorable. Love it. So needless to say, I ordered the whole collection. I just decided I was gonna splurge. That's everything. So yes, they are so cute. So I am really glad that you guys joined me for this unboxing. Um, I've been putting off trying to go live for a while and I've been watching so many people do it and I've just been afraid and then I thought you know what if 12 year olds can go live on their iPads I should be able to figure this out and I did so I am really glad so how are all you guys doing today now that I've got all this stuff out of the way how are you guys doing what's going on in your lives I think I started out when I came on telling you guys about how I was 
just really exhausted from being up at the hospital for the last few days. It is exhausting to sit by a bedside at the hospital. Just really exhausting. So, and I spent the night up at the hospital last night. I um, got there about noon, and then I spent the night, and I got home today about noon, and it was so good to walk into my own house, to be able to just kind of walk around with more space than you get in those little hospital rooms. And my husband um, had lunch. I had made some soup before I went up to the hospital, and now I am so glad I did because I hadn't intended to spend the night up there, but I ended up doing that. So at least the soup was here for his dinner when he came home from work. And then when I got home today, he had made corn muffins to go with the soup. So we had it for lunch today. And it was just nice. I'm just really glad that I had made that soup ahead of time. And it wasn't the soup for our soups and stews for fall challenge. So I hope all you guys are planning to join me and Tashi and uh, Mickey for our soups, stews, and fall. Soups, soups, stews, comfort foods for fall collaboration. I've already decided what soup I'm going to make. So hopefully you guys are going to be joining us in that as well. And I'm glad you guys are doing well. Biddy Boo, you said you had heart surgery last week. So I'm glad that you're doing well. That's something that I don't want no parts of. I'm just hoping I can stay um, healthy. And you know what? So since you're obviously a survivor, a woman, a woman survivor with heart disease, I can't figure out how to upload to other channels. Now, what do you mean you can't figure out how to upload to other channels? How to upload what? What are you trying to upload to? Because I'm not sure I'm following that. But in February, I'll be doing my Go Red dinner again. And then I'll be bringing some segments on regarding women's heart health. So, Biddy Boo, in February, you should join me and have a Go Red luncheon. Oh, videos for collabs. Oh, you don't know how to upload a video for a collab. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to do a tutorial to show how to do that. And I got to thinking about this the other day. That's not normally what I would show on this channel. But um, I was working with a couple of other ladies, teaching them how to do something. And um, you said it doesn't give you the option. So what, what device are you using, Biddy, to try to upload? Are you using your phone? Are you using an iPad? Are you using a desktop? First of all, let's start there. What device are you using? Because dependent, so you're using your laptop. So um, when you upload to uh, YouTube, you have to have a YouTube channel to be able to upload something. So do you have your own YouTube channel? And then once you have your own YouTube channel, you know, it's pretty simple to upload a video. Okay, so you've got your own YouTube channel. So have you uploaded any videos on your channel at this point? And Biddy says, yes, she's got her own channel. So now I'm asking her, has she uploaded any videos? And I believe she has. But let's just see what her response is. So, okay, so she can upload to her channel. So then what you have to do when you're ready to upload to other people's channel, they have to have a playlist that makes it allowable for you to upload to their channel. For example, when we have our Suits and Stews playlist available, I'll put a link out there that I'll send to Tashi and to Mickey, and they'll also make that link available on their channel. Then you go, you click on the link to the playlist and you don't try to open it or copy it. You click on the link and then when the link opens up in a new tab, there should be an option that says you have permission to add videos to this playlist. And then you'll want, then there'll be another option that says continue. And then when you click the continue button, it should say something like add video from your YouTube channel or put in the URL. And typically you'll be going from your YouTube channel. So you would click on one of the videos in your YouTube channel and it should add it to the playlist. If I was adding it to my playlist for you, then I would get the URL from your video and then I would upload it into the playlist. 
So it's it's pretty simple to do, but every now and then you do run into a problem. I've uploaded lots of videos to playlists, but every now and then I'll go to someone's playlist and it just doesn't read right and then I can't upload. So and then I was talking with another uh, young lady the other day, we were talking about how to schedule videos and she wasn't aware that you could do that. And it's certainly a great function and a great feature. Do you know how to schedule videos, Biddy? And I've got 10 people on, but nobody else has said anything. So what else are you guys needing to know about since we are just chatting right now? Okay, so Biddy does know how to schedule videos, so we're good there. Okay. Well, what other kind of things would you guys like to see me do for live stream? A couple of people said they've been wanting me to go live and I've just, well, been afraid to. Then I also wonder, like, well, what I do live? I was watching a live stream the other day with the organized soprano and she did a clean with me live. And I'm like, how is she doing a clean with me live? I am like confined to this chair. She was cleaning her bathroom. She was walking all over cleaning her bathroom. Then she went to another room and showed her dog. How many days do you upload your videos? Well, usually I try to upload three days a week. I usually try to upload three days a week, but I've been really behind. And I have to say for Vlogist, which was vlog every day in August, I uploaded every single day. And man, oh man, that was more than a notion. It was a lot of work. It was a real commitment. And I was exhausted by the end of August. And so it took me in September, it like it took me some recovery time because some of the things that I would normally do regarding my clean with me's and, and plan with me's, I didn't get to. And I need to get back to some of that because that's what people tend to watch me for is my clean with me's. The interesting thing is my daughter keeps saying I'm running away from my purpose. She's like, mom, you need to be talking about health stuff. And I'll say, honey, my healthcare videos are my least watched videos. I'm like, people don't want to know about that stuff. They may need to know about it, but they don't want to hear it. So that's why I thought, well, I'll try to add my wellness Wednesdays, maybe once or twice a month on Wednesday. Things that they absolutely have to know, like, like you guys had to know about the flu, because it's flu season. But I only had 75 people watch that flu video. Oh, my home tour, she liked that. Yeah, and I have been missing those Clean With Me videos. They just, and they really don't take a lot of time. But for me, it's the editing. Like, I can shoot it, and then it's the editing. And like, right now, I'm trying to get my Thanksgiving videos ready. I am trying to get my stuff ready for Thanksgiving. So, like, you know, how to roast a turkey and all those other things. Oh, cotton candy, hey! Cotton Candy, she is the winner that won my first giveaway, and that's in the mail. She should be getting it either tomorrow or Tuesday. So I'll be getting back to my get, uh, Clean With Me videos shortly. Like I said, my mom's still in the hospital, so this week I just have not been doing much video at all. But my plan is tomorrow to work on some. She may be going to rehab tomorrow, then I won't feel obligated to spend so much time up there, and I can get back to a more reasonable life for myself. Uh, Betty Boo says I'm buffering. I don't see any buffering here and my signal should be good. So I'm wondering if the buffering is just in your area. Okay, so I'll get back to playing with me. People said they want to see that. One of the ladies said they wanted me to do something on how to take care of your back, like how to keep your back well for um, as you get older. I want to do some get ready with me in the morning videos. How would you guys like that? And I enjoy doing collabs with others. I'm going to... I'm doing, I'm doing this collab coming up right now with Tashi and then uh, Mickey at Live, Lab, Love, and Pray and Simply Tashi. And I'm hoping to do a collab toward the end of November with uh, Creative Lori and uh, another creator. I, I, he's been pretty busy lately, so I don't know if he'll have time. But one of the viewers had questions about my buffet for um, my fall buffet. Out Here, let me show you. 
Uh, Biddy asked if they figured out what was wrong with my mom. Well, they were treating her. This is the buffet, first of all. Let me show you that. I think you can see it. So this is the buffet that she liked. And she liked the way that it was set up. And her question was that she had just moved into a small space. And because she just moved into a small space, she didn't have a lot of room to put things out. So one of the things I'm hoping Lori and I can do is do a collab where we can show how you can, um... oh, it's Mimi. Hi, Mimi. But I'm hoping to do a collab with Lori where we can show how you can use um, buffets and side tables and things like that to kind of use as not only display, but storage. So that's another one that's coming up. But as far as my mom, they decided that they decided that um, it was just like bronchitis, you know, just some kind of a respiratory illness. And she's 86. So when they get that age, just anything can really knock them for a loop. And so she had been on outpatient therapy, like antibiotics and cough suppressants and fluids and all that for three days at home. So when I took her into the ER, the ER physician said that she failed outpatient treatment. And because outpatient treatment wasn't successful, she said, we need to send her to the hospital so that we can do some IV therapy and things like that. She went to the hospital and then she like continued to get worse for about the first two or three days. And I have to tell you guys, I'm really scared. I'm thinking, is she gonna come out of this? You know, like, is she gonna make it? And she was really kind of frightened herself. She was saying things like, I don't think I'm gonna make it this time because every time this happens she gets a really bad flu-like illness the past couple of years and a couple of times it's gone into pneumonia and she's recovered but each one seems to take its toll on her but she's really on the rebound on the rebound now so she's getting better a lot better and um, hopefully tomorrow or the next day she'll be going to a rehab hospital and so she is better so much better. So thank you guys for your prayers. I know a couple of people when I made that flu video kind of noticed like at the very end, I was just like, oh, cause I'm just like, oh my goodness. Cause I did that video and then jumped in the car and was back at the hospital. But a few people picked up on that comment. And so they kind of asked questions about how she was doing. So thank you. She is doing much better, much better. And I'm feeling very hopeful and very optimistic now. She's had lots of prayers, and one of the things that we would do every night is I would call my son. He's got two little girls, eight and six, and they like to pray for their great granny. So I would call him, and they would um, FaceTime her, and they would pray for her right there, you know, through the uh, through FaceTime. They would pray for her, and then he would say a prayer. And I think all the prayers have helped because she's much better, much much better. She was able to get up with help of physical therapy, walk with her walker sit on the side of the bed. So she is doing much better. So thank you guys for all your prayers. Trust me, prayers are needed and prayers do help. So there's that. So let's see. Cotton Candy says she's praying my mom gets better. She works in rehab. And uh, yeah, yeah, the rehab hospital she's going to go to if we get accepted into the one we want is excellent. So she can be there from anywhere from three to 21 days and then we'll get her at home. So, yep, one day at a time is all it is. Just one day at a time. So what else is on you guys' mind? You guys have seen my unboxing, my little goodies that I had. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's so, I think what Biddy says her mom's 84 and scares her when you get sick. Yeah, you really have to keep an eye on your older adults. And if they're not better with something that you're treating them for at home within two or three days, you either got to take them back or take them to the hospital. So what are you guys' plans for the holiday? I feel like Thanksgiving is like almost here. So I've been working on getting my Thanksgiving recipes, my Thanksgiving videos shot. Like I've made some really cool things for Thanksgiving, but you can't see them until next. Month, so I've been working on those things. So what are you guys working on? What's your plan for your YouTube channel? What are you guys up to? What are you doing? Tell me about that. Inquiring minds want to know. I've been watching a lot of channels lately and I was watching Mary's Nest today. 
That woman, that she's been on YouTube less than three months, and her channel is just really doing very, very well. Someone wants to know, what made me start a YouTube channel? Well, funny thing. I started a YouTube channel because I just wanted to have fun. My first channel was called Makeup on Aisle 64. And what I didn't know then was when you wanted to start a new channel, I could have just changed the name and kept the same stuff. But I got interested in makeup. I had gotten to a point in my life where I felt like it was time to paint the barn a little bit. So I started using more makeup and finding products for mature skin. And I thought just because I'm a woman of a certain age doesn't mean I still don't want to look fly. I want to look amazing at whatever age I'm at. Age appropriate, but I want to look great. So that's when I started my channel and I was doing, uh, you've got two of your seven trees done already. Hmm. But I started the YouTube channel to have fun and to do makeup. So I, I did that for about a year. And then I decided makeup was kind of limiting because I started doing planning and I enjoyed that. And I thought, I want to be able to talk about more things. So then I started the channel This and That with Denise so I could talk about a little of this and a little bit of that and whatever. And it would all work out. And what I find is that I love cleaning and I love teaching people how to clean or how I clean. And I'm really enjoying the laundry videos. I've got some young housewives that follow me. And um, yeah, I've got some young housewives that follow me. Tashi said cooking the turkey because she's got to cook the turkey. I have done my video on how to roast a turkey. I just did it. But you guys are going to laugh. So this is what I did. Now only you guys are going to know this. But... So I decided I need to have all my Thanksgiving stuff done up early enough so that in November I can just start deploying the videos just like that so that they're there. So that people want to look for how to make um, uh, butternut squash for Thanksgiving, how to make greens, how to roast a turkey. I have these things already done. So, but I thought I can't make all this food for nothing. So my sister's birthday was coming up. So I thought we're going to have Thanksgiving early and we're going to do all of our Thanksgiving stuff for her birthday. So G Ma D says she's letting her kids cook it this year. Well, we're gonna go to my daughter's the week before Thanksgiving and celebrate with her. But they usually spend Thanksgiving with her husband's family and they come to us for Christmas. But this year they asked us to come early. But so anyway, I started cooking all this stuff and I forgot where I was going with that. Oh, so my sister's birthday was recently, so I invited everybody over for Thanksgiving dinner. And I thought, we're going to have Thanksgiving dinner for your birthday. And so that is what we did. So I roasted the turkey, went through all the steps. And then I'm like, okay, honey, can you get the turkey out of the roaster and sit it over here so I can take a picture of it? He's like, I am not putting that turkey over there for no picture. He says, I'm not dripping juice across the counter. He said, you can take a picture in this pot. And then I'm carving this turkey. So, oh, now someone just said, and I, I missed the name because I was trying to read it, but they said they started their channel because she'd had a stroke and she wanted her grandbabies to be able to see what Nana looked like and what Nana did in case she wasn't around. Oh my goodness, but that's such a good idea. And you are leaving a legacy like my grandchildren will be able to look back and look at all of these YouTube videos and see all the different things that grandma was engaged in. Um, and next weekend, I'm going to be honored at a um, lunch in the Deltas, the local chapter of Deltas. And this chapter, this is kind of candy. Oh, your daughter wants you to do a YouTube channel. You know what? You should do one. I, I started the channel to have fun and I am having fun. And it may sound a little strange to have a woman of my age saying, well, I just wanted to have fun. Well, you know what? I've raised my family. I've worked most of my adult life. And I decided I'm ready to have some fun now, you know, just to do some things to relax, kick back and enjoy myself because who knows what time you have left. But I feel like I've paid my dues. I've done all the stuff that I was supposed to do. I've spent my life trying to be the good girl, and now I just want to enjoy myself. So I have a lot of fun with my YouTube channel. I love the cleaning videos, and I really enjoy the cooking videos. 
And what I find is I'll do so many videos and then I don't have time to get them uploaded. And then by the time I get around to uploading them, the season has passed or I've changed the decor in the kitchen. So now I can't do it. Oh, G Ma said she started her channel after her sister passed away so she would be less lonely. Oh, excuse me for snorting. My throat is still kind of itchy. I've been sniffling since I've been up there with my mom. And yeah, it would help you to be less lonely because one, you're busy, so it keeps your mind off of things. But we have, I think we're creating a nice little sister circle here in our community. I've met some really nice people and I am enjoying that. And let's see, that's so Vicky says, I heard you say the Deltas are honoring you. Yeah, they're, they're having a um, red shoe brunch and it is to honor people and women in six different areas of the community. And one of the areas is physical and mental health. And they're honoring me in the area of physical and mental health for the work that I do with Women's Heart Health and Safe Sleep. And I thought, really? And, you know, my daughter, she gets after me sometimes and so does my husband because I'm like, well, she says, Mom, these are just things you do. And so you don't think of them as being important. But I guess I think of them as being work-related. But you know what? I'm going to accept that honor. And thank you, guys. Thank you for saying congratulations. So I'm really kind of excited about it. I have to buy some red shoes. And Tashi says she loves animals and she's a nature baby. I love animals, too. I do in the summer and sometimes early in the fall. I'll do some things with my birds, like outside. I haven't done much with that lately where I've shared um, with my bird feeders. And I just read an article in the paper today about landscaping your yard to attract birds and things like that. So and I've been doing some different things to kind of get ready for fall and for next year, kind of pulling some things up, that kind of thing. And I really had a lot of fun with my gardening for the summer. I would love to be an ambassador for Proven Winners or uh, Miracle Grow. Oh, I would just love that. Love that. But I mean, I'm an everyday person. Yeah, I'm just an everyday person. So I don't, I'm just an everyday gardener. So I don't know why they picked me, but it would be glad if they, I'd be glad if they did. And then I did get, um, a query from two companies wanting me to um, do a video or do a review about a couple of their products. So I thought, well, I'm going to try that too. Usually I only do reviews on things that I've actually purchased myself. And I usually like to have tried them for at least three to six months before I do a review on them because then I can really tell you what I think about it. So I need to do a review on my Dyson. I have not done that yet, I don't believe. And I'm loving that thing. I just keep forgetting. So it looks like you guys are having a nice little side uh, conversation about the different fur babies that you have. I don't have any fur babies. And I don't even want any fur babies right now. Other than the ones that live outside. Where I can go outside, I can feed them. If I forget to feed them, they still survive without my help. It's like, been there, done that. We have the cats, the dogs, the rabbits, the gerbils, the hamsters. We had a bird, fish. On the whole nine yards when my children were little and I'm sure most of you have that same story right now or you had it when your kids were home I don't need more wanting more pets I wouldn't mind having a cat but if I got a cat my husband would want a dog and I'm like we ain't having no more dogs we are just not having any more dogs around here dogs are too much work and you know would end up doing the work so he would probably disagree with that. He's in there watching football. So I thought I would try and do this live stream here in the living room. So Mimi, if you're still on there, you are one of the ones that made me think you need to learn how to do live stream. Because I remember when you did your first live stream, we had been on with Sanal. And then um, you said, I'm going to test one. So you guys check in. And then we all kind of went over and watched you do your test one. And now you do live streams regularly. And I've still been afraid to try it. And I had been working through a lesson with my uh, course with Sean Cannell with Video Ranking Academy. And um, he said, you need to go live. And I'm like, I don't know. So I thought, okay, today's the day. 
when I came home from the hospital and I thought, okay, after I took my nap and got myself together, I thought, I'm just going to go live because I thought, I got to get these things out of these boxes. So I thought I would try it. Yeah, that's the thing, Tashi. When you go live and even when you do video, you know, it's like you have to get camera ready. I am not always camera ready, to be frank. When I came home from the hospital, I was a hot mess. Oh, hey, there's Mimi. And she was saying that she's glad I started. Mimi, this is the first day. So, and it was because of you. I kept thinking, Mimi is going live. And then I saw somebody else going live. I'm like, okay, let's bite the bullet and try it. So I want to thank you guys for being so kind as to be supportive. And it's nice to, to see people on here that I know. There was a couple names on there that weren't familiar to me. But for the most part, you guys are people that I see and know regularly. So Thank you. You guys made this so easy. So I think I'm going to jump off here now and get all this stuff put away. And uh, get ready to pack it in for the night. I tell you what, I have just been so tired. And, you know, it, it's been home and it's nice to be home and get relaxed. But I think I'm ready to get my PJs on now. Well, you know, uh, Gma. Once you go live, you just have to keep talking because even when the people aren't talking, you have to be because they're expecting you to say something or do something. So I've got another unboxing to do. I've got six glossy boxes that I need to unbox it, that I need to open. Are you guys interested in seeing those? Because I thought I would do those tomorrow. So good night, Dylan. I'm so glad you guys are on and thank you for saying I did a good job. I want to do an unboxing maybe tomorrow. I've got six glossy boxes to do. So if you guys want to take a look at those, I'll go live tomorrow and I'll do that sometime tomorrow evening. So we'll see. Maybe tomorrow we could talk about what are some of the TV shows people are watching too. So I'm going to sign off tonight too. Everybody's got to get packed in. You got to get kids to bed and all kinds of things. And uh, I'm glad you guys are starting that community there too where you kind of get into to talk and, and get to know each other. Go and visit the other names you've seen here. Like, visit their channels. Give them some love. And um, like I said, we got a sister circle going, and we want to keep it going. So I'm going to hang it up for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Let's see. There's supposed to be a button where I finish somewhere. Okay. Where's the button to finish?